Hello. Hello. Very excited to see everyone. Hi guys, welcome back to another life update video. Da, 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 da. We've had a pretty big month since we last spoke to you with our life update. What's happened? I actually wrote a list. It's quite long. We do a lot. We get around a bit. Yeah, in case you didn't know, uh, we got engaged which is pretty exciting. If you haven't seen the video, which I'd be surprised because a lot of you have, so thank you. I'll link it up there, in the box up there, up there. Ta -da. Ta -da. So we got engaged. We're very loved up at the moment. It's quite funny, a little uh, anticlimactic though, wasn't it? It was like, we're engaged. And then you went on holidays. Yeah, it was tough. But <laughs> I thought you were sarcastic then. No, no, it was tough. I wanted yeah. to, I, like I wanted to do it before I went away. Um, went away and then you don't forget about it, but no. you know, there's just other things that happen and go on and then you come back and you remember it all, everything's that's gone on. Well, for me it was like, it was like, oh, you're engaged and then see ya. And then see you for five days. Let's talk about, we've got, we're sort of getting ahead of ourselves here, but we've got quite the list here of things to. Last time we spoke to everybody, we obviously had been not been engaged yet. So, well, we got engaged and then Fabian went to New Zealand and then came home. We're supposed to come home on the Saturday, on the Sunday and then your flights were canceled. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. so. We Went to, went to Queenstown and there was been uh, big levels, like lots of wind pretty much in the Queenstown area and 300 km an hour winds and the, my flight was 9.20 and I didn't realise but Queenstown has a curfew of 10 o'clock for flights so planning on getting out of Queenstown on a windy day, don't book the last flight because you don't get out so. Not that you know um, it's a windy day when you book it. No you don't but there was a lot of us that got stranded. We, How many? Uh, There's probably six six or seven of us right total and then they got the next flight home the next day yeah but that's via it's, Christchurch yeah but it's not just the fact that the it's a cancelled flight you know you're in a ski town which is full anyway of accommodation you're right. trying to find accommodation when there's so many people there and you had an allergic reaction to something so you couldn't even get to a chemist and find yeah I don't know what that was that was weird but, um, yeah, sent me photos normal. of his arms and like kind of like big welts though, weren't they? they kind of like Carter's reaction over testing oh, time. Oh, I'm sure you were really paranoid for me. Oh, I was. You'll survive. Then uh, I was supposed to go to Queens two days or three days after you got home. Then it turned out being two days after you got home. And then it was the next day after you got home because you got home on the Monday, 12th of August. The 13th of August is my birthday, which leads us to why we're here. We'll get to that in a moment because this is clearly not our bedroom. Then it was my birthday. And did you have to work that morning? No. What did we do that morning? I went to Brisbane to get That's right. Present. Right, so Fabian went to Brisbane to buy my birthday present and because then- Because of my cancelled flight didn't allow me to do it on Monday as planned. Right, see? So I am organised. Yes, it wasn't in his fault. In this instance, I couldn't be as organised as I would like. Right. So then we came back on the Wednesday and it got to about 11 o'clock in the morning and Mackenzie was not okay. So we ended up taking her back to hospital. And then she has, I don't know whether she'd gotten rid of pneumonia and then gotten it again, which I don't, I don't think, think, those think so. The yeah. first lot, I don't think that did much for her. No, I agree. We ended up in hospital with her. So <clears> by <throat> midday, I was in the emergency for a couple of hours with Mackenzie and then we got admitted later that afternoon. And then we we're in there and for a couple more days, which was mm. horrible. But she's such a trooper. She's such a good girl, you know? She really doesn't. Like she, even though she's scared of doctors, she kind of just goes and tries to put a brave face on. She's really sweet. Whereas Carter, if he was in the same situation, wouldn't be doing that whatsoever. He'd be terrified and screaming his head off. So then I spent my birthday in hospital and then I had to cancel my New Zealand trip because I was supposed to be going on the Wednesday. So that Such was a good mother. pretty devastating. Okay. I'm still devastated. Not so much like, I don't know. It's frustrating because it's like, I'm obviously going to not do anything other than stay with Mackenzie and be how like, like what I should do as a mother. But then at the same time, I'd been really looking forward to that trip for so long and I don't foresee myself going on another trip or holiday anytime soon. Never say never. Well, unless you're planning it. Never say never. Okay, well, I don't foresee it happening. So <laughs> if you seem to make it happen for me, I'll take it. Make lots of things happen. Okay, well, perfect. Which probably leads us to why we're here. Something else I might happen. <laughs> well, I was supposed to go out for dinner on my birthday with Fabian. 
and we had organized some friends to look after Mackenzie and Carter and then I had organized dinner and Fabian had organized dinner and that obviously didn't happen so that's why we're here so this is a week after my birthday we are in a hotel and we're gonna go for dinner tonight have a nice night together this is probably the first time in what six months we've spent together away from the kids mm -hmm. which is lovely so kind of like a celebration of engagement birthday hell all of the things no, an engagement part is a celebration of engagement okay we'll, we'll have this that too a, then this is a birthday okay celebration we can party as much as you want babe <clears throat> thank you are you sharing that or don't look at me. Your glass is half empty. <laughs> Don't even start. You've gone way harder than me. We had the QR round after you had an abomination of a weekend. It was bad. Moving on. Yep. Your birthday. <laughs> we didn't really do much because you were racing that weekend. We had your family over. Yep. But you had a nice time. I had a good time. How was your birthday present? Yeah, good. Real good. Didn't go. Didn't go. No. Didn't go. No, my plan. No, Beck got me Halle scare, Halle boarding. In, in Queenstown for my birthday, but you didn't go. No, it didn't go because there was things planned on the other day. So I planned to go on Sunday. Woke up, it was raining. So I'm not going in the rain. No. So I'll just rain check. Okay. Rain check. Next time. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then uh, we've got a new office. Our office is now being completed. So I have a vlog coming of that new office set up. It's just two or three things away from being finished. I just want to decorate it properly, hang a few more pictures properly. Some more man things, I reckon. We've got enough man things. You are uncontrollable in that office. You have junk all over that desk nah. and it's doing my head in. No, nah, I've got a man candle. Man candle. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. That you approved? What is that one? Mr. Can you remember? Mr. Moss? Yeah. Mr. Moss. And candle. I think it's Melbourne flavoured, so it must be sophisticated. Yeah, it's decent. I need to burn it though. Yeah, actually That's though. What they do with yeah. <laughs> it sounds bad when you say it out loud. Yeah. We went to SeaWorld with the kids, which you guys have seen that vlog, so I'll link that up there as well. I hosted a biology event, so um, some of you guys know that I do emceeing and hosting of events as well as TV presenting. Do you do DJing too? No, not a good DJ. Wiggle, wiggle, I'll wiggle, just wiggle. put on Apple iTunes okay. and that'll do. The migraine weekend. Mm, there's a lot of sleeping and a lot of dark rooms. So Fabian had a migraine for what the was first that, time. That was the week before QR. And yeah, they're no good. They're no good. No. We didn't know this, but Fabian's dad actually used to have migraines all the time, which is obviously why you get them. But, but I've never had one. No. Until this. It was kind of scary. You did a, a karting day with one of your sponsors. Yep. Where did we go? Um, Kingston Park yep. Raceway. Dealer Network karting day for KMC Wheels, which was, it was cool. I got beaten. <laughs> did you hate it? Wasn't pumped. <laughs> um, it was actually ego it, no, 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 let's be honest it was a, it was an equal but because I didn't win the last race went to account back I finished second so maybe he might have called Ryan's story and said a bit Fabian in a karting day and might ask for my drive I mean, you might be out of a job you're mm. beaten in one race it's kind of similar to when you get like <clears throat> people in like eye racing oh all that stuff I haven't done eye racing in a while oh do you know what we missed mm -hmm. Enlighten me. Our dog's birthdays. Oh no, I, mean, I told you that yesterday. I know. I was away, so that's no excuse. But. Well, Mr. P and Bronte's birthday, we miss them. So we'll, we'll take the dogs on a day out and celebrate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, which means I'll take the dogs out and celebrate. Oh, and then you went to Sydney for Tag Heuer. I you did. did a photo shoot for the new Ortega watch, which is I very did. cool. Well, it was cool. When do those shots come out? This week? Next week? I thought the 27th, but I could be wrong. We'll let you know. They are stunning. So you went to the Blue Mountains and did a photo shoot there. I did. Wentworth Falls. Pretty cool location. Stunning. Um, it's like a big cliff and it's like it's unarmed you can walk up to the edge look down and it's into a massive valley so it was pretty cool photos come out pretty good too so. yeah really nice those campaign photos will come out not too far away i think in the next week or so we'll keep an eye out on your instagram page the second section of this video goes to our kids update so mackenzie and carter are 22 <laughs> months at the moment they're just about 22 months their words are exploding they are like little sponges little parrots every time you walk somewhere they like copy what you say and, and then they are on repeat about every little word you say hey mummy daddy mummy daddy mummy that's a big one at the moment. Mummy. Kenny says mummy dad. Yeah. Mummy daddy. Like that, so word. Mummy dad. You're like, who do you want? She's mummy daddy. Both. Helpful. Whoever comes first. And Carter's being really good at um, telling you exactly what he wants. So he's being very direct. It's like they've just be, like... Bottled. Bottle. Yeah. And do you want a water? Yes, no. Like, that's it. He doesn't change his mind. It's what exactly what he says he is. It is. So it, he's very uncomplicated, but yeah, it's still very complicated. <laughs> 
isn't he? The kids are starting to talk in sentences too. So they'll say, you know, if you say, yes, please, mummy, or yes, please, daddy, they'll actually try and say it. Even though they're not saying the words properly, they'll try and say it, but they'll say, no, mummy. And that's a sentence, apparently. Putting oh, okay. two words together is quite an achievement for a little person. I didn't know that. I think that's quite clever. I don't know if that's good for their age or not, but I think it's cute and clever. No more mummy. They're so cute. What's oh, fun? they're trying to jump. Oh, that is funny. It's very that cute. Is funny. How do it's you describe like, it's that? It's like they crouch, but they, you know, they do the motion of exploding up, but they only like take the slack up in their legs. They don't actually leave the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of describing it. Like they squat. Yeah, they bend their legs. Yeah. They, they squat, they stand up to the jumping position. Yeah. But they jump to their legs are straight, but they don't actually leave the ground. Yeah, it's like they're not getting the motion in their body to move off the they're ground. Not, yeah, yet. they're not getting they're not getting the the push up motion. Very we cute. Film that. And this week at Kindy they've got Book Week. It's so cute. So last week we knew Book Week was coming and we thought, okay, well we've got to go and buy them something cute, like some costumes or something. Mm -hmm. So then we we were like Okay, well, what are we going to do? Let's go to Big W or Kmart or some kind of store. We were shopped quite a few places. Couldn't find exactly what we wanted, but we found an Emma Wiggle costume what for did her. We, want? we didn't really know. We just thought we'd just go and find so it. We were looking for something we didn't know what we were looking yeah, for. Yeah, well. Perfect. It's okay if you've, your kid's like four, because there's heaps of options for a four year old, but toddlers, there's like nothing. We got a Mickey Mouse thing for Mackenzie. That was good. Yeah, like a little dress. It's like a little Minnie Mouse dress. I haven't used it. Well, oh, she's only had it three days. Mm. And then we bought her a Emma Wiggle dress. We bought him a Cars Lightning McQueen onesie zip up thing. And it's pretty cute. Got to Monday morning and it was a bit of a struggle. So I was like, what are we going to wear? I don't really want to put him in Emma Wiggle and Lightning McQueen just yet. So I was like, we have this book that one of our friends has sent us. And it's got pictures. The first, I don't know, 10 pages are of trucks. And Carter loves this book. And then the last five or six pages are of Fabian in his race car and daddy and mummy and daddy together and the four of us are in some pictures and, and it's very cute this book but we call it the daddy book because Carter loves this book because it's got trucks and dads and you also read it dad. when I'm away so he's like daddy daddy picks it up and runs around with it and just he'll just sit there for half an hour and just read this one book and so I was like well, why don't we just take the daddy book and put them in the the t-shirts that we wore to the track when we watched you at QR the team shirts the team shirts <laughs> and kindy loved it they were like almost the only two in their class that dressed up and there's like a picture a classic picture of Mackenzie I'll post it here and uh, she's pointing at the book where they've all got story time in the class apparently they're proud as punch to show off their mummy and daddy and their daddy's skills so Good. does that yeah. make you proud yeah it's cool to see them you know wearing their little team kit yeah where to next for us so i know in our last life update i mentioned that i i was going to take the twins to new zealand for the Auckland <laughs> race unfortunately things have come up that is going to stop me from being able to do that. We had all the ducks in a row, everything was ready to go, just about to book our flights. And it just sort of got to the point where it was just too hard. way too hard way too hard and I, I i get i i know i cop a little bit of flack from a few of our friends for this like why is it so hard that you take your kids like just get them out there and go and i don't think people understand <laughs> one toddler is very different to having two toddlers two toddlers that are running away from you at the same time in different directions that's kind of scary and i don't want that to happen and then you know lugging a pram all of their bedding all of their toys and clothes and like I'm flat out doing myself when I go away on a holiday let alone another two people that are toddlers I decided no thank you when you book an infant <coughs> under two on a travel fair with you so you have to have a full fair adult which you would anyway and mm. then you've got to have a toddler under two you can only have one infant per adult so I can't travel by myself with the kids I always have to have another adult with me and usually that would be Fabian, but Fabian's actually going to Christchurch on the Monday anyway. Obviously, I'm not going to go to Christchurch. So that was already throwing Spanner in the works. And then, would have yeah. Been, I would have to go to Auckland on Sunday, go to Christchurch Monday. Yep. Not to mention the fact that our daughter has pneumonia and it's freaking cold in Auckland. So we'll just stay at home for the week. And then uh, we are going to, though, at the end of the year, go on a cruise. Okay, we've looked at a few options. Yeah. Well, you, there's, all, there's always that period where you're at home oh, after Christmas, comes to New Year's, you haven't planned New Year's, what do you do, where yeah. do you go? Yeah. 
I think this would be a good little alternative to fill that void. So your mummy's coming over next week, I think. And I go to New Zealand. Oh, you go to, yeah. Perfect. Your mum's coming to Australia. Yeah, she's here for a few days, which is good. When this video goes up, you'll be in Adelaide. Bend, Father's Day. Yep. Father's Day is in like two weeks, I think. A week and a half. That's exciting. I've already got you a Father's Day little present. Little? Maybe. Okay. What do you want? Do you want something specific? No, I don't know. Mate, you are terrible I'm... with presents, honestly, this guy. I buy him something and he's like, doesn't want it or takes it back and returns it or like already has it like if you get those emails from the stores that are like father's day gift ideas i'm like mm, watches no mm, perfume no other kind of man accessories what do you wear hats you've got a billion of those all like the shirts and the jackets and stuff i buy them for you anyway shoes i'm hearing a lot of complaining well it's, you're just not an easy person to buy for you are but you're not i don't have trouble Moving on. Ah, oh, I have my first bridal fitting, which you're not coming to. Sounds expensive. No, it only cost me $100. And that's just to try it on. But I get free food and champagne, so I'll be absolutely annihilating the buffet. Annihilating. Too many champagnes. I should practice. <sighs> practice the champagne drinking mm. right on, mate. You have a Tag Hoyer event coming up at the end of September. So that will be exciting. That will be in the Brisbane Boutique. It will. So we will both be there for that, which will be really nice. We have an engagement party to plan, which we have done absolutely nothing on. Just trying to find some time to fit it in. Oh, I have no time. It's probably more to the point. Well, I think people understand why we have no time now when they listen to these life updates. <laughs> and it's like, it takes you half an hour to tell everyone what we've been doing for the last month. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I, I think people think that you don't do much. I know that you have a four week break with your racing, but you're still so busy. And then when you're busy, I'm obviously with the kids and it just makes it for a real busy time. No, I'm with you. Yeah, I know. See, I really needed that holiday. Well, is that it? Yep. Yep. I reckon we've covered it all off. I think we covered a fair bit. Thanks guys. If you've made it this far in this video, I'm well impressed because that means you've had 20 something minutes of a good time with Fab and I. That sounds sus, but it's not meant to be. <laughs> it's just, and we are on a bed. Let the champagne okay. talk honey. <laughs> okay, let's finish it there. Thanks for watching. <laughs> are you gonna tell them to like and subscribe? Yeah. You say it. Why should I? Because why do I have to say it all the time? Okay, so you know what comes next. You need to like, sub, sub, bleh. Try that again. <laughs> why do I have to do it? I'm definitely not cutting that out. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment ding, down ding, below ding, if you ding, like ding, it and, ding, and ding, uh, ding. if you love ding, these ding. life updates because we like giving them to you. Ding, ding. Gives me an excuse You're to You're missing one. No, ding, ding. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Hey. It's coming. It's coming. Don't forget to ring the bell so then you get notified whenever our videos go live. Seven o'clock every Monday for the record. And sometimes when I can, because my life is busy as you know, on a Thursday as well. Thank you guys for watching. We love you so much. Have a champagne for us. Cheers. Bye.